MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor leagues. Tonight, game four of this four-game weekend set between the New Hampshire Fisher Cats and the New Britain Rock Cats. And before we close in on first pitch, a look at the starting lineups here for the finale. And then briefly, let's take a look at the two starting pitchers who get the assignment here. Big Dog Babe will move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. Second baseman, Big Dog Babe. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. One of the keys to the game for this guy is going to be getting out early in the count. It doesn't necessarily have to be one pitch like it was there. He needs to keep those 20 pitch innings to a minimum. That's a good start to the game for him there. Fastball hit on the ground is short. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Now Big dog Babe will get a second crack at it here. He flied out to lead off the ball game. Now the first pitch. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Cruz is over now and he's got it for round number two. Brian Osuna will stand in, and he wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game, in which the team could muster all of one run. And now he'll try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Throw to first in time, and the bunt attempt is foiled. Big Dog Babe will dig in. 0 for 2. He's flied out and popped out so far. First offering on the way. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Come set, now the pitch. Now a ball lined towards center field. In there, a base hit. The relay, and he is in there. Well, I think they've seen enough of this guy for the weekend. He's absolutely eaten him alive, and he's at it again as he drives this one for two bases. Stepping in now, Sebastian Cortez as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. All right, you're down two here. You've got the tying runs in scoring position with one out. This has to be a productive at bat. Even if you don't reach base, you've got to get that guy in from third. But fastball misses downstairs, and it's 2-0 oh now. Hitters count 2-0. Oh. Got him fishing for that one. Two balls and a strike. That's a great call there on 2-0. and oh. The whole world's thinking fastball, but they drop the hammer on it. Here's the 2-1 and one pitch. 3-1 and one now. You figure he should get something good to hit here. They don't want to walk him and put him on for the heart of the order. Now the 3-1. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And the run is in to score on the sack fly as this lead is trimmed to 4-3 now. But he's safe at third as he's able to scramble back. Ah, well, you accomplished two things on that last swing. Number one, obviously you drive in that run with the sacrifice fly. But because that ball was hit so deep, it allows the second runner to move up another 90 feet as well. First pitch coming. Tomas Ortega is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Yeah, and even though that's a tough one to get on top of, I think he'd say he got away with one right there. That's in too good a location when the matchup's not in your favor. In there, strike two. Yeah, that pitch is still up a little bit, but at least this one was out on a corner. But I don't think I'd want to be making a living up there too much. And the pitch bounces off his glove, and that could be a run. 
And as it turns out, he won't test it. The one, two. And he struck him out. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Lucas Cruz will stand in, base on balls his last time. He's ready, now the pitch. Ground ball to second, this could be two. And they'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. Yeah, you know, a double play there was always going to be a stretch. And that's where you just take that force out at second, get the lead runner, and then say, you know what? Thank you very much. Ricky Knapp. We'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. The 1-1. And this is on the ground toward the hole. And they will get the force at third, and that's that. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Lucas Cruz will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. Here's the 1-1. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Dive, but it's in and out of the glove, and the run should score. Throw to first, not in time, as the run is across to score. Big Dog Babe will get another crack, one for three thus far. Big Dog Babe. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. From the belt, the pitch. And, oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here, at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. On the second for the force out, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We're through six full. The Rockcats lead it eight to six. Alexi Cabrera is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Big Dog Babe will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Two out, nobody on. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Good slurve. 0-2 now. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Here comes a 1-2. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. One hits all they get. So a good job of collectively swinging the bats in this one, but if we had to single out one guy who outshined all others, I think it's the man.